Okay. Okay, we'll start over. Flesh Lord, what are you gonna do? Okay, um, first oh. things first, as myself, I would like to make an arcana check on that big thing that's spawning in the room. Uh, <laughs> the big. Role, you definitely, you definitely know uh, it was some type of magical essence. Um, well, I would hope so. <laughs> um, but with that, with Arcana, that Arcana doesn't tell you too much. That's interesting. Um, and uh, I guess I'll have my squid move up and or five foot swim and smack this guy. Okay, roll for your squid. Okay, so it's going to be bite and then the two tentacles. Uh, that's a plus four on the bite and the plus two on the tentacles. So your first one hits, your second one misses, and your, and your third one hits. Okay, so the bite deals, let's see, a d3 plus two. Okay. So, let me see here. Uh, okay, so that's the bite damage. Okay, got you. And that's the tentacle. And then, because the tentacle hit, he'll get a free grapple check. Mm -hmm. At, uh, let's see. So do I roll? Do I roll to grapple? Is that it, how it works? Yeah, you gotta roll. Um, it's a free grapple check. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I do not okay. See so. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's a good roll. So you grapple the creature. Yeah, and it's that plus. Uh, it's that plus four on top of that, okay, or plus I eight you. actually. Keep that for me. Okay. Okay, so now you see this thing grappling this small child. <laughs> Man. Okay. Now That's my turn. Yep. Now it's Restraint's turn. Restraint, are you exhausted on the floor? What was the deal with you? Um, I am fatigued according to my stats from last play. Um, it looks like for, hang on, one, two, three, one, two, interesting, six rounds? Mm-hmm. Okay. I might have on my notes there. Can you, um, still, can you still attack, though? Uh, yeah, I just have penalties, <laughs> but yeah, I'll still be able to attack. Um, and I think, I mean, I'm up. Pull Vincent out of the of the water. Did I not? Right before yeah, he... yeah, Vincent's out of the water. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I'm kind of in a rock and hard place. I can't leave the threatened square of this thing, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to hit it. As far as I know, I still have my morning star on me. I don't really know if we explained how I'm carrying that in my axe, but um. Well, I mean, you got two hands. That's true. <laughs> I just got to put one down, I guess, whenever I pick up the X. You, I thought you uh, gave your wanna... star to Vincent. Uh, yeah, Vincent, did I actually? Did we actually do the handoff? Because if that's true, then it's on your body. Or you gave it to Briffin. I can't remember. No, Vincent had the sword, so he must have given it away to uh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That may just be bad notes on my on my stat sheet because they're still. If you've got it in your inventory, Griffin, then that is fine by me. The Morning Star. The Morning Star, yeah. Yes, I do. Great. Okay, I just need, I need to take that off my text, and I was wondering why that was there. Um, great. And then I will attack with the butchering axe with my penalty on the small child. That is with the penalty, but I think I still hit with a twenty-one. You do. What I was going to say, I'm pretty sure you get a bonus because he's grappled, anyways. 
Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah. yeah, that's true. You're right. You're right. Um, great. Yeah, I'd swing my attack onto the, the, the child creature. So... And I'm not looking so good doing it. The battle finally ends, but what you notice the crap. when you see this creature, the long claws, you know, blood, bloodshot eyes, a very a Venus, the child, a small creature, shrinks. It kind of changes form to a grayish human or creature with a narrow head, gaunt limbs, and a, the sinister nose's face that you saw before. But now you see a smaller one. So it's smaller grayish version of the swarm or stuff? Well, it looks like the same creature that you faced in the asylum, the entrance, when you were in the beginning of the, uh, the I guess you say your adventure, or your... Oh, okay. Um, oh, like the shapeshifters? The shapeshifters, you see a, a child version of that. Two. Yeesh. Is it still dead? I mean, do some heel checks. I'm, I'm, uh, I guess I'll climb myself out of the water. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was just about to ask if you could get out. Hey, oh. I'm not as skilled you, at those. As you. The shrink checks around and the shrink lets the party know that the child is no longer breathing. Alright. I'm gonna pull my bloodied axe out of its corpse. And, uh, I'm gonna kick it into the pool of blood. Is, uh, Juglin floating or sinking? Um, I mean, he just, he just was, you know, this has happened, even though the combat's been a long time, so I would say that he's kinda... What would happen? He's yeah, probably flo yeah. floating face down at this point. I think, yeah, I think he's floating face down. Kind of, yeah, I don't, uh, yeah, he's floating face down. Might as well get his body out of the water. Then. Yes, I was gonna move over and pull him out. Yeah, I'll, I'll grab him. But well, we probably can do it together, I imagine. Um, so you keep this way in the pool, Matthew, you said? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm assuming the octopus thing is still grabbing it, actually. I don't know if <laughs> yeah, I'll let, I'll let the octopus do whatever the octopus does. The summon creatures eat? I don't see why uh, not. He can eat it. No, he doesn't have the skill for it. Uh, yeah, he'll probably just end up disappearing after a minute here. Just for good measure, I am going to do a heal check on, on Juggling, just to And Vincent, if I can do a combined, I don't know. They're both here. I mean, I know they're dead, but my character... Still helpful. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, I guess that's my answer. Restraint. Gas. As he tells you that you lost two comrades in that battle. Vince is no longer breathing to Vince and isn't breathing either. This is not good. I think we need to take a rest or something before we, we lose another member. Oh, I feel I sh should point this out in character. Um, my, my, my character, now that you see him in his human form, he straight up looks like he is melting. Like that picture of the like the guy in Discord with the like the weird fleshy so he looks like the rest Dis of us. Like skin disorder. Oh yeah. Oh, he looks bad. Oh no. It's this little melting child. He he looks he looks fucked up. Well, you okay? 
Well, he said, yeah, I, um, I'm going to point out, I think we're just going to say, like, uh, Vincent's body is it's colder than Juggling's. It's like, it's like ice. It's far too cold to have died so recently. It's really odd. I don't understand. Okay, let's move them further away from the pool in case something yeah. else comes up. So uh, none of these creatures, like, they weren't using any kind of tools, weapons, or anything, right? We don't, we just see pretty much the bodies in the pool and this rubble. There's, like, nothing that we could scavenge from this area. I mean, I mean you would have to scavenge to make some heal checks. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Let's, I, I couldn't hear me... half of that. I said you'd have to make some perception checks. I'm sorry. My apologies. Okay. Let's, yeah, I'm going to move over to this, what looks to be... I don't know, some objects, and see if I can discern anything. Um, so, Briffo, I'll give you, a check. you definitely let the, the group know that you do see... Well, first of all, let's talk about the room in general. Here you see, it looks like switches. <clears throat> okay. Um, but you definitely see, it looks like, bits of you see like as this person starts to roll over in the water from this person being splashed you see like a necklace on them here it looks like you know again orderly clothes here where it's lighter you notice you see something kind of stands out to you in the bottom of this uh this pool Hmm. We know how... If, we were just in the pool, so I'm hoping we can get an idea of this. How deep is it? Uh, whatever. What is that? Six foot? What would be to your shoulders? For my shoulders? Probably five. Four and a half, five. I'm six feet. It's on top of my head. Okay, so... Well, we can see something in this part. Yeah, there, I'll point out that there's a couple of bodies that look like they have uh, equipment. Hmm. Well, I think I'll get back to, we can get back to searching them in a minute. I'm, I'm just going to investigate what these strange things are over here. Maybe... The levers? Yeah, to try to discern if there's anything that could... Any traps or something that could harm us while we're resting. I gave you a perception check. It wasn't very high, though, Jeremy, so I don't know if I learned anything new other than... Does it yeah. seem like they're uh, related to the pool? Yeah, yeah, it does. These, yeah, it seems like there are switches here. Um, you kind of notice a pipe going from this way into, like, south of the room. Hmm. Okay. Oh, maybe we should try one. Maybe we can drain the pool. Yeah, that's a good idea. Are there any noticeable piping leading from either of these in the direction of the pool? Um, no. Okay. Well, I guess we just start with one and see what happens, huh? Yep. All right. I'm gonna go with this first one here. And uh, is it a turning mechanism? Is that what it looks like? A circular? <laughs> it's actually just um. Uh, this one is just a lever. Okay, I'll pull the lever. And yes, my best in Persian Groove accent. Okay, so once you uh, pull the lever, you notice you hear like a like a sludging sound, like a it. It seems like it's like it something's like claw, like it, you know. Imagine. Something being forced down something and then backing up. Hmm. But I don't see any visual signs immediately. Mm -mm. Let me put it back to where it was. Okay. For now. Um. Uh, I tell try the other ones. Yeah. Go ahead and try. We'll just if we don't see notice anything immediately, maybe we turn them off. Maybe. Yeah. And figure out what it is. Okay. And 
Yeah, so yeah, let's do the middle one. So, as you try the, the, as you try the, the medium one, you notice, you hear like a sound, like an actual, um, catch opening. Hmm. And again, no visual cues, yeah. Mm-mm. Okay. Well, I don't know, what do you think, Griffin? Should I... Maybe leave, leave that one? Maybe it's for something on the other side of the wall or somewhere else. Well, maybe. Maybe we have to... Maybe if I go back to the top one, since it's kind of stuck, maybe it's... Free to move, or should I just go straight to the bottom? Uh, I mean, we're just going to try all combinations eventually, I assume. Yeah, let's... I'll leave the middle open. I'm going to try the bottom for now. Even though I think we saw pipes going away from the pool, but, you know... This, all of the showers start to turn on. Oh, these are showers, huh? Okay. Uh, is it just water? Yep, it starts to turn on. Oh, uh, well, I... I don't know if we need... Yeah, if we could find the drain in the pool, we could probably... It's probably just clogged with a body or something. We could probably just move a body off the drain. Yeah, maybe that's the sound we heard with the first one. I'm gonna turn off the showers for now. On a whim, I'm gonna try the top one again with the middle one open. Again, and, and again, you hear something's backed up. You know, I wish I had a sound for that. I'm sorry. Do you see bubbles in the pool or anything when he does that? Um. No, you don't see it. Okay, well... Do you want to be... Griffin, maybe you stand here and prepare to open this again, and maybe Flesh Lord and I can go back into the pool and see if we can move the body, if we think it's worth digging around in there again. I don't... I, I can't say if it's worth it or not. Um... I guess if um, Flesh Lord wanted, he could see if any of those objects are radiating any kind of magic. Um, yeah. And I don't so know if that would sway you one way or the other. Well, for now, why don't we try to pull out a few of these recently killed guys? You said you saw some things on them. So I'm going to drag his, this guy ashore. You know, I just I just realized um, since I get since I get three minutes on my squid, um, I mean I probably could have just had it search the pool for a drain and try and clear it off. Do you have talk with animals though, to be able to talk to it? No, I can just command it. I thought you had to have commune with animals to command your summons. I thought that's why. Because yeah. when you summon, they just, me look. they just respond to verbal commands. Oh, uh, okay, it's like a... I just get it. Uh, if you had put them away, yeah, try that. I think in the meantime, I'll I'll just kind of work my way around the pool. If uh, Riffin saw something over here, i investigate it. And if it's a little bit sh more shallow, I might get in the pool in that area. Um, and... I mean, if the squid's already gone, I mean, I can make a new one. Oh, okay. And actually, I have a. I can actually make something that might work a little better for us in this situation. Uh, I'll conjure a water elemental. Okay. Just to cover my bases, too, Jeremy. Can we say? I didn't explicitly say it, but I can do it now. I would like to rest long enough to be rid of my fatigue, which in theory is. I don't know, six times six, less than a minute. Okay, I got you. So, you're so I'll just take So you're resting. 
I'm just gonna sit down for a sec. Yeah, I'll make a water elemental, and if it if there's a drain in the pool, I mean, I can just have it swirl down the drain, kind of like a, kind of like a plumber's thing, like a plumber tool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll let you. I'll let the water elemental. Um, I'll say that the water elemental um, finds a drain that's clogged and and gets it out, and gets the clog out. Um, uh, while... Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say, pull the lever! <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep, I'll pull the top lever. Boop. While oh. that's draining out, um... I want to take a look <laughs> at that... That is a uh, Red Destiny sword. Um, am I able to find it? Yeah, it's about Vincent's body. Um... Can I try and figure out? Uh, well, actually, you know what? I'll just I'll just go for it. Um, I'm gonna attempt to cast mending on it. If the if the enchantment level on it is lower than my caster level, I should be able to fix it. Okay, so you're what are you doing? Picking up the sword and casting Mandy? How does that work? Um, yeah, I mean, I got. I, I mean, I don't. I guess I I don't know why I wouldn't pick up the sword to cast mending on it. As, as Flesh Lord in his weakened state goes to pick up the sword beside Vincent's body. Um, as Flesh Lord reaches down, Vincent's cold and lifeless body grabs a Flesh Lord's hand. Oh. Flesh Lord, he gives Flesh Lord a menacing glare as in... Don't touch that sword. Who sees this? Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm probably watching the pool right now. Yeah, and I've been over here with this. <laughs> What's in with this guy? I'm gonna say I didn't. You just moved me back. Yeah, because you're on the outside of the building. Like that, you know what I'm saying? Like. That's the wall. Oh, that's the wall. I gotcha. Um, I won't pick it up. Uh, I'll still cast mending on it. That seems to have no effect. Does Does Vincent's cold body move at all? No, it just looks at you with black eyes. The people's there's no color anymore. In the iris, it's just it's just a black eye. Um. Is there a kind of knowledge that would go with this? I feel like my character would... Like, religion or arcane, maybe? Yeah, you could try a religion check. You have no idea. Okay, that's Restraint. that. Restraint. That's that. Body's grabbing me. That's that. Griffin, what do you want to continue to do? Uh, well, it sounds like the, the pool is draining, like I can see that. Mm hmm Okay. Then I'll move back over this way. And I'll think I gotta stay at the lever th at this point. Okay. Um. So, yeah. Uh, I'll move back over to, to these folks that are hanging out by the side of the pool. Um, do I see that, uh, Vincent's body is different at all, or... Yeah, you see Vincent's hand is holding the Flesh Lord's arm and squeezing it. I so, fear he may be turning. If what? Why don't you cast to to take magic on Vincent and see if he's being possessed by something? I don't know how this works, but he's not supposed to do that. Uh, or should I? Can I cast some kind of religion check as well? Uh, let's see what I've got. Wow. That's messed up. I have not talked to Michael much this week. I looked at my preempt to go to my home. Does that give me anything on uh, casting? Unfortunately, um... No. 
<laughs> uh, do I know that some of the creatures that we fought in here were, uh, what kind of undead they were, Jeremy? Mm hmm This is nothing like you've ever seen. Well, I mean, could my character make the assumption that maybe he's turning into a ghoul? Oof. Um, it could be an unreasonable assumption. You know that from your studies that ghoul transformation is not that. And you, and, Quick. You don't, and you don't see any bite marks on Vincent. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'll say, well, uh, he's definitely turning into some kind of undead, but uh, it doesn't appear to be ghoulification. Spencer, are you getting my, my um... Are you getting my stuff off Discord? Uh... We'll just roll with it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot what I was going to ask. Is it, is it anything to do with that, that cursed weapon he's been holding? Uh, it's possible, but I don't know. I don't know if we should need to separate it from, from his body or not somehow. I don't really have... Anything I can cut with the most on well now I've got an axe, what am I saying? I can try to cut off his arm if we think his body's gonna turn. I would say crush his head. Yeah, I'll have the morning star. I don't know his religious views, but I don't know if he would want to turn into some undead creature. And in this case I don't think we want him to turn into some undead creature. Bingo. No. Uh, what? You don't <laughs> want? What? Was that an answer? I think he said no. Smash his head. No. <laughs> don't yeah, that's smash fine. his head. Are you really gonna listen to the undead? Can you understand us? Yes. Vincent, is that is that you? Who is Vincent? Smash his head. <laughs> well, then what are you? I am in ecstasy. This place, I... it smells wonderful. Kind I... of exchange looks with everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold to smash his head. That seems like the way to go. <laughs> um, yeah. This I'll make, isn't... I'll make the symbol of Harazba and say, "I'm sorry, you didn't deserve this." I know. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna bring that Morning Star down on him. Can I try right. to make that not happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah I just I'm, I'm just gonna roll into the pool. <laughs> Don't drag me in the pool, you dick. <laughs> he, just he just flops in like a fish, you know, like Okay, so you're flopping into the pool where my water where my water elemental is. <laughs> Sounds like Vincent's going to have to re-roll another character. Spencer, sorry. Um, yeah, if he's going to flop into the pool, do I get any sort of attempt at uh, attacking or restraining him as he leaves my threatened square? It's just, it's just, it's just a five-foot step back, though, right? Oh, you're right. You're right, yeah. Well, five, but he's prone. Is that yeah. a Give me one second. Here we go. I, mean, I should probably know the answer to that. Sorry to make you look up everything. You can't five and, foot and, step. And as, and as I take that five foot step, I slowly, like I'm, I'm, I drag Red Destiny back into my hands. Yeah, we should have smashed his head. And attack him with the water elemental. Here you go. Um, I'm gonna have to ruin it. The, I'm gonna have to ruin it. <sighs> A did we bit. just <laughs> not, not? Did we just ruin it no, for no, you? No, 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 no. I'm gonna have to ruin it for you a little bit. Um, this is what you get. 
Um, you can't use it all the time, but I'm gonna let you do it right now. And I was okay. and, it, and it's red. Here, I sent it to you. Okay. I'm tr I'm trying not to figure out what's going on, but if I, as a person, know, then this is the most epic foiling of a resurrection attempt that I've ever seen. No, it's not. It's fine. I, I play everything according to my character. Exactly. And exactly. you have the sword that I want. <laughs> there's a there's a really good one in um, shoot, uh, Hell's Vengeance, the one that's uh, centered around an evil party. And if you, oh. like, spurn... It, it's like you, if you interact with this person that's, like, the son of the priestess, and they probably, like, die during the adventure, they try to resurrect them with, like, a scroll they can't use, and <laughs> it goes horribly wrong and, like, turns them into an undead. Oh, shit. Well, in this place, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, some possession or some other, like... Yeah. This, this could go... This could go very wrong. <laughs> Um, so what is, is Vincent no longer prone? Question mark? You got it, Spencer. We got a yeah, what? Yeah, I got it. Oh. Alright, well, uh... I'm gonna go ahead and go into that form. Got you. I don't like the sound and of that. And... Fly back to here. Well, you're making it 100% more likely that we need to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go right there by that dead. Mm -hmm. What happens to this? Um, It goes away, but you can reappear if you want to reappear in human form. Okay, I'm just going to kind of move it off over here. Okay. If you're you using... If you were using Spencer as another way to kill us, then I'm going to argue heavily for the fact that I should have got a smashing attempt as he flipped into I'm the water. Not, I'm not doing anything. It, it depends. <laughs> Spencer, all I will say that if if anything happens from this, after you kill somebody, I will award you with a plus one weapon. But you know, Oh, sweet. <laughs> I'm just playing. Yeah, so my uh, my newly <laughs> formed what is probably a blood elemental at this point is now going to go after him. Is that a water elemental? Yeah, I know. It's just it's been soaking in the pool. <laughs> yeah, flavor, flavor, flavor. Yeah. Perfin will say, uh, "I, I'm not sure that we're really equipped to deal with him if he is hostile. If he's just gonna yeah. run for us, maybe we should just leave him." You see, mm. you you guys see a, a misty form, uh, of a humanoid shape. Ooh, I like uh, that one. Where 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 it moved to but the shape actually doesn't remind you of vincent it the shape looks uh a little bit larger a little bit bulkier uh while vincent was a little bit more ragged uh a little bit scrawny had a big beard on him and was shorter this this mist is taller and and bulkier the demon I don't know if I have the capabilities to fight this thing. Can I show them? Can, can I show? Can I show them the picture or no? Go for it. I don't care. Still talking to us. Uh. Oh. Uh. Interesting. Oh, I'm sorry. What did he say? said why fight are you telling us that you're not hostile i like this place why fight well you can stay here if you want but i'm not really in the mood for staying here i don't like it so much if you stay out of our way then yes we've got no, no problem I'm going to turn to Brith and like, I don't even know what this thing is, do you? Uh, again, I know that it's some kind of undead. Um, I am I think you might have been onto something. It might be related to the sword. Uh, maybe the the sword had a soul trapped in it? 
and oh, no. that's that's taken over our friend i don't know there there are so many like this is why we <laughs> needed an expert like juggling around like there are so many undead and circumstances under which they come into being yeah juggling why couldn't you come back as some super cool <laughs> oh god, Verasma would be pissed! <laughs> Verasma didn't protect you, unfortunately, but I hope she protects us. Well, if it's not gonna fight us, I'll keep a watch on it if you guys wanna get the stuff out of the pool and the stuff off of Juglin. Uh, is it still in the pool, this, this new entity? He's on the other side, it looks like. Oh, uh, okay. What are you doing here in this room specifically I, I say to the end. I don't quite know well then what's the last thing you remember I remember an army. An army feasting on flesh. Mm. Was it your army? I don't know. That's a better answer than yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? Do you like about this place so much? I'm not sure I understand that answer. Do you mean this room? This plane? What? It's the <laughs> s smell. There's something... Something about the blood. Well, if you were in an army feasting on bodies, then yeah, I can see why you would like this smell. Come to the right place. Did we, right. by the way, sidebar, sorry, did we drain the pool already? I mean, the pool takes a long time to drain, Matthew. I mean, it's only been a couple rounds right now. Okay, but the process has started, right? You don't hear Fog the music? You don't, you don't hear the music? The watch together, that's what that is? Mm-hmm. Okay, great. Yeah, it sounds like a, a pump is running. Um, I love how there's okay. a watch there for that. Yes. Sorry, I cut you off there, Mike. Uh, I kind of forgot my train of thought. Oh, shit. Sorry. Oh, yeah, actually, I, I think I was actually having the same thing. I was going to suggest that uh, we start gathering stuff up, but then you pointed out that pool's not drained yet. But I suppose... Uh, Jeremy, are there are the edges of the pool more shallow by any chance? Like, are there steps in or a slope or something? The steps are right here. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, because we came to the other side. Well, I'm interested in what Griffin pointed out. It could be on this side of the pool. So I think I'm going to make my way in and move just along the edge, uh, keeping a grasp of the edge of the pool was to not slip. So, do you have a name? Do you even know what manner of creature you are? It doesn't seem that you're alive. Kale. Like the salad? Kale Odruff. And do you understand what you are? I don't understand that question. You're not a living creature. Or at least you're not anymore. I feel like I am. Well, okay, I guess let me rephrase that. So, Vincent looked pale and not alright. Uh, does Kale look, look like he's got color to his skin and all that? 
Mm. I guess that wasn't clear to me. I guess I assumed he'd have the same kind of skin tone and everything when he reformed. Right. Yeah, I mean, he. I'm showing you, that's what the mist looks like. But as, but as it comes to, you know, you see kind of Vincent reappear. Uh... Okay, wait, I'm confused now. So the form we've been talking to is not the other picture we saw, the more... It is. Dark. The form the form, you're, you're, the form that you're talking to looks like this. Um, okay. But as it comes to and becomes more solid, you see Vincent in front of you. Okay. And so the... And now the mist is gone. Yeah, but there are some things that... But there are some things that are definitely different about Vincent. Which Spencer will talk to you about if he wants to describe it, you know. Okay, so just during our our broken conversation that happened, that change occurred. Mm -hmm. And I was also so as I made my way around the pool, kind of twofold. I wanted to see what was in it, but also I was trying to get a closer look at this creature. So I realized that you just described what changed, but I'm still going to throw you a perception check and see if yeah. What I see. Mm, I see you. Uh, specifically in the direction of the now new Vincent. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I, I was gonna roll you too, but I'll take I'll take whichever. Uh, um, great. Well, we'll count that first when I rolled you for the pool then. Do you want me to roll you another one for looking at the Vincent creature thing? Uh, I mean, you're not gonna really know for what looking at him from that the, from that shit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, th then I guess to kill, I'll say the body that you're inhabiting is of our comrade Vincent, who fell against these ghouls and creatures in this room that you see before you. He was dead just moments ago, and then you started getting up and moving around when I'll gesture to Flesh Lord when he tried to take the sword from you. S sword. And I kind of take a look at it. There's... Huh. Something... about this sword. It... I remember this sword. I remember it. It's mine. Does the name Destiny mean anything? Red Destiny. That's its name, yes. Red Destiny. That's all we know about it. Were you trapped in this That's, sword? It's not the sword's name. My name. Your name is Red Destiny? Or, 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 or Kale. Kale. Red Destiny. Ah! And you kind of see this, uh, shaking his head back and forth and looking in all sorts of weird directions. Are we, are we witnessing sort of a Smeagol Gollum moment right now where he's um, talking to like different parts, you know, as they like turn his head one way for one name and is it that obvious or is he, you just look visibly confused? I mean, you see, that he's putting, you see that he's putting two and two together. He's trying to figure out... Like who he is, okay. Who he is. Listen, Kale or, or Destiny, it really looks like you're struggling like, like the rest of us were or, or to who you are and why you're here. But we don't want any more fighting. And we at least have your word that you are... You can... Stay here if you like, since you like this place so much, but leave us be. Is there the more than just this There's room. a whole building. This, this place is huge, and we've been trying 
to find a way out. We're trapped in here. Trapped. Hmm. Yeah, sorry if that's a bad word to use, considering. <laughs> Curious. I'd like to see more of this place. You, as far as I know, you can go anywhere you want. You should know there are, there are creatures all over this place. Some that I can't explain. And it is uh, not safe outside. This building is kind of locked, if you will. And uh, until we've disrupted whatever ritual this cult master is doing or figure out how to reverse what he's already done, it seems like none of us are going to be able to escape this building. Cult masters. They tried to lord their power over you. I mean, he's currently, yes, and all the other inmates. Inmates and staff, I suppose. Then Red Destiny he shall meet. Listen, are we going to have any problems with this Red Destiny? I mean, who are we going to be able to speak to, Kale or Destiny? You, you see him kind of just like sh shake his head. Your words are confusing me. Yeah, same. Something That's... is not right. Something about this place. I must I mean, find these answers. Well, sounds like maybe our quests are aligned, but I have to be honest, I'm not entirely sure we can trust you. We don't really know what you are, but I look around at us, you know, in our various <laughs> shapes, and I said, well, we're kind of making a habit of picking up. You can't members. bring them back to the church, that's for sure. Yeah, that's true. It's uh, it's it's Spencer, right? Um, uh, that's that's your name, right? In real life? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's Red Destiny. Yeah. I'm I'm bad. I'm I'm bad. No, it's. I'm sorry. It's <laughs> it's, uh, it's it's Red Kale Salad. No. Uh, what's up? I just, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't misremembering. Real quick, um, I have a very important role that's going to decide how I treat your character for the rest of forever. Um. Do you want it to be a, just just choose um, above fifty or below fifty? Which one do you want? We'll go above. Oh. <laughs> okay. So things are going to get nice and awkward now forever. I mean, they weren't already. <laughs> oh no no no! Things are going to get uh, a different kind of awkward. I was gonna. It was it was a it was a decision as to whether or not I treat him like a normal like I'd, I'd learn to treat him like a person in the future, but instead we're gonna have some so good old flesh lord. As fun. as you stepped forward, uh, you see the shift change from Vincent to the red mist, and quickly into that other humanoid form. Sorry for that, Jeremy. Uh, and you see, you see the posture change as as his stance widens and his hands go up in a very defensive way. Uh, and Jeremy, for you, uh, for your notes, uh, I am sh I am shifting into crane style. I got you. Oh. And you You're and you see can, this you man can see you this with his arms open. You can see. Well, he's in a very defensive, like.
because because essentially like as I go into crane, I'll go into uh, full defense. You'll notice if you pay close attention that no shits are given, and he continues to approach you with his arms very wide open, but in a very he, it doesn't appear terribly aggressive, but he's he's coming in for what appears to be a hug. <laughs> okay. And you just see him. You just see him mumbling with with a growing smile. Uh, I'm gonna take this time to get back to our Griffin. As the I don't know what's gonna happen here. Like you slowly hug him, but you feel like he is as stiff as all get out as like if you make any sort of movement he's going to take action against it uh wh- he, which person are you in not discord a hug back. I'm, I'm sorry are you a 1988 doctor who in discord yes okay i'm going to whisper something to you this is this is what i say to you and as they're whispering i will show Griffin what i found in the pool so far so i've i've found the shield uh, amongst the bodies. Might that be useful to you? Uh, I'll take a look at it. Uh, was that all you were able to find? S- yes, so far. I only I mean, searched he, that. He didn't, I mean, he's looking as you're doing this. He's what? I mean, the, I'm assuming now the pool is drained because the sound effect has stopped. So we can go back in and look some more, but during the interaction with uh, oh, gotcha. what's his name, I just decided. Yeah. Um, <laughs> until so I know Cody, if you, Cody, if you look at his face, he looks slightly confused by that, but doesn't say anything, just stays very defensive. The hug only gets tighter. I have, I'll, I'll think, give me a minute and I'll think of a little more to say. Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, uh, go ahead. I'll help a uh, restraint pick up the the rest of the, the stuff that I saw earlier. Okay. If it's easier now with the pool drained. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can, you can point it out to me where you saw it, too. Plus, that water elemental was making me uncomfortable. Blood elemental. <laughs> Just staring over me. Um, oh, I got something to give you. Did you roll your perception too, Britham? You want me to roll again? Uh. Because I was the one that spotted the stuff in there. I can roll again if you want. No, my apologies. I just didn't, I didn't see it. Okay, so this is what you... You find a small... So make sure we put next to this. Small, cracked, purple stone. Let me put this on the item list. How about that? I think that'll probably be better, right? Okay. Sure. In the Discord? Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Small, crank, purple stone. You find a lighter looking shield. And then. Wow. Holy crap. We found the giant rubber duck that was clogging the drain. (laughs) (laughs) Y'all suck. Um. (laughs) It's terrifying, covered in blood.
So the okay, so the shield is like a bark cooler, maybe? No, it's a light steel shield. A light wooden shield. Oh light steel. A light wooden shield. Wooden, okay. Yeah. Okay. And then let me see what this is. I'm getting toward the end of the notebook and I need to switch my And notes. then you find a belt. Okay. And that's what you find. Alright, I will uh, start examining this stuff. Either trying to appraise it or see if it, any of it exudes magic. Yep, I'll, um, the small cracked purple stone does and the belt. And you realize that the belt is a belt of tumbling? And that it looks like you find a cracked stone and you do know it's magical. And it seems, as you investigate it, you notice it as an owl stone. You say owl like hoo hoo? No. Oh no, let's see. Like, You're right. And how you spell it? Owl? How you say that? Owl? Yeah, Ion. Ion. Or Ion. Ion stone. Ion. Ion. Okay. And the shield's a shield? Or am I getting ahead of myself? Do we know, uh, or does Prithen know what this belt of tumbling might do? Obviously, as a player, I can look it up, but... Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll say that uh, wearing this belt makes it easier... Um, how do you phrase an acrobatic check? It makes it easier <laughs> to, to move uh, past enemies without their blows harming you. Ah. That's a good In job, the heat Michael. of battle. Good job, Michael. That's really a cool explanation. I see. Cool. Um, Cody, is this what you're telling him? Is this is this public knowledge or no? This is what he knows now. This is what I definitely know to be true, quote unquote. <laughs> <laughs> I th I've told you from the beginning. My character has a mythos. He has, he is, he has a religion. Whether or not it's real or not is a whole other question. But you, you sadly gave me a character that fits perfectly within it. I think I know why this person ended up in the asylum. Of course, I guess that doesn't exclude the rest of us from. <laughs> oh my Are you still hugging me? Uh, have you stopped me from hugging you? I'm now trying. I'm now parting your arms off of me. Well, I don't stop you from doing so. Okay. <laughs> and step back. Oh. <laughs> he phases when he steps. Oh, shit. Yeah, my, my religion has like this insane, like almost Voltron esque ritual towards the end of towards the end of it. Once I've found everyone required. Um, I don't like the sound of that. Um, so after we've, <laughs> I'm gonna just for the sake of uh, you know role playing, I'm gonna say that the hugging ritual and the discerning of of items has finished around the same time. Does that sound? I turn back and I go, "Are is everything?" Okay, over there. Are we? Are we all friends? Of course we are. Why wouldn't that? Why wouldn't we be friendly with my lost brother? Uh, with awkward clarity. You know, I don't believe that for a second. But I've seen stranger things. So, um, why don't? Why don't we leave this? Why don't we leave this room? Wait! 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 Are these more levers on the side of the side of the wall? No, I just kind of 
No, those are showers. Those showers? Yeah. Okay. Before we go, though, I do want to take a look unless somebody already has uh, done a check on this room. And see if there's anything that stands out about it. Windows. Um, not the top. No? Okay. Just, she's kind of nasty. Let's see. 80. Um... Let me see. You rolled an 80. Yeah, I'm, nah, I can't get, I'm not gonna give anything with that roll. You don't pick up anything. Oh, good. That's not gonna come back to bite us in the butt. Um, Are we I'm going not... to try and make it somewhere safe then? To I think rest? we should. You know what, though? I normally don't think I would care, but I am covered in a lot of tribe blood at this point. Maybe a shower is in order. <laughs> yeah, anybody that went into the pool, which I think I'm the only one that didn't make it in, <laughs> might want to clean themselves off. Yeah, Griffin, if you don't mind, I'm I'm gonna go down here and try one of these. I'm assuming these are the shower stalls, or was it the, yep. the yep. right yep. side? Right. Yeah. Okay. I mean, before I'm gonna let him turn on the water first, and I'm gonna sure. try the back of my hand. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, dip a toe, so to speak. I will make no attempt to get clean. Yeah, you're it'd be, clean. It would be disrespectful. Restraint goes over, you're clean. Okay, great. Um, oh, those are the showers, okay. Oh, actually, while I'm thinking about it, what are do, 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 I will pick up Juglin, and I'll actually bring him over to get him cleaned off. Uh, because I am not going to leave him here. I'm actually going to bring him with us. To the church, okay. Well, I don't know if we're going to be able to get all the way back to the church, but at least um, to the town. It's true. So you want him to go to the town right now? Uh, I mean, if that's what everybody else is okay with, sure. Um, we, don't, we don't have a lot of choices. Yeah, well, I meant like I don't know if we want to try and go all the way back to the church or if we just want to settle for the town because it's a lot closer. Mm, maybe I the town the, oh, out, out of character I thought the church was closer like I thought we had to like do like a U travel to the the makeshift town and that the church was like kind of part of the way part of the way on our journey opposite way around yeah the yeah. other way around the makeshift town is all the way to the church Ah, okay. Okay, that's what I kind of thought, but I wasn't a hundred percent. So I will say we're walking. Um, uh, let me get here. Here we go, players. Okay. What's your screen at? He's always left behind when this happens. Gone, but not forgotten. <laughs> we managed to carry Jacqueline's lifeless body out of restraint. Nah. <laughs> I gotta get rid of that picture. That's the old doo-doo picture that doesn't have uh, chuggles in it. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe my character died, but the the random pug lived. <laughs> <laughs> can't kill a dog, man. That's chuggles. He's a servant of the flesh lord. Of course he lived. I mean, so was Juglin. <laughs> uh, Juglin was a servant of Phrasma, and that's why he failed me. Right. He failed you by keeping us all alive. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I, put his, I put his holy symbol back on his head out of, show, out of a show of begrudging respect. Okay, so as you, as you go, um, you know, as you go back to of town you see the doctor walk up to you um 
then, you know, again, you, you hear the doctor walk up to you. Oh, You're wearing his coat? More come to gaze beyond. To oh, serve the okay, ultimate. Sorry, why More come to there? gaze beyond. There we go. I ignore that. Um, so the doctor, he greets you. He looks at Juglin and Vincent. He sees everybody's covered with blood. And he says, so did you get the book yet? No, we lost two of our members. He looks and counts and says, he says, uh, where's the fourth? You entered in with five and I see your comrade there. He says, I'm, no, I'm not trained, but can I do anything? Can I, can we get him to this, uh, to the medic tent and back to my, to my place? Maybe I have something for him. We're all suffering from a pretty horrible sickness of some kind that, yeah, maybe we need some help getting checked out. Um, we can make it back to my tent. Again, I'm not tram. I have, I don't really have much supplies. I gave you everything I had, but he looks, he looks, he kind of, at seeing, even though he doesn't know your comrade, he looks pretty defeated himself. I've seen you come back with a, with a dead comrade. Like, he's happy that not everyone's dead, but he, you know, he sees... Like, his glimmer of hope that once he had, once he saw in, enter through those doors in the south, it seems like they've kind of quickly diminished, per se. Once seeing that you have a fallen comrade. Fear not, my friend. We may have lost the priest, but we have gained a force beyond your comprehension. He looks at you kind of bewildered. I think it's beyond all of our comprehensions. No. Speak for yourself. <laughs> By the way, is this guy wearing his lab coat? I have to ask. No, he's not wearing his lab coat. Okay, he learned. <laughs> I was very clear with him on that one. Yes, um, uh, if, uh, is your tent big enough for all of us, or do we need to find somewhere else to try and rest? No, he says, he says it'd be a tight fit, but he said everyone could fit. He also looks at you restraint and Briffum and juggling. Um... He looks at you, three, very weird. He actually reaches out to touch you, Briffum. Um, he kind of, he touches your, like your, like your arm, and like your, your hair, it goes for it. Um, how do you respond to that? Well, I'm currently carrying a corpse, so I give him an odd look, and kind of like, step aside a little bit. You all right? Are you going to tell me that you had some kind of dream about us or something like that? No, but he, he says I notice that you're you're wet, your your body's your body's wet, your hair's wet. Did you find a water source anywhere? Uh yes. The showers. You need a bath? Yeah, he, yeah, he does he says I haven't had a bath in in days now. He says is well, it clean? You... Is the, is the water clean? He's like I know that there are from my short time here that there's a boiler room by the, the, the church but we lost contact with that I know the boiler room kind of heats up and then controls some of this, the, sanit the sanitation of the water and I know there's pools on one wing but I've only been to the pool the shower area um, he's like he's been to the shower a couple you know several times throughout his stay but um, he hasn't been there since everything happened well it's a lot cleaner than the blood we were covered in. So there's di there's dozens of bodies in the shower area, in the bath area, but um, the showers work and it is clean water for as far as I can tell. Is it warm, Jeremy, or was it ice cold or what? Uh, ice cold. Uh, it's very it's very frigid. Do you remember? Though, but, do you remember the boiler room and how I told you it was like a light underneath, Matthew, from the beginning of yeah, the adventure? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh huh. Gotcha. Something tells me if we had started the fire, we had had warm showers. Ah, uh, that's all right. It's better than blood. Um. Yeah. If you could stand the stench of that place, then it might be worth the shower. Let's go to this tent. We need to get checked out. I'm tired of having my skin fall off. Is this the tent here, yonder? Mm -hmm. Okay. As you walk to the tent, you see some of the, the cultists grab you and say, they start offering you things. 
They start offering. You, they start offering you things for your food. For our food. You talking about the body on Griffin's shoulders? <laughs> One pulls out a ring that everyone that can detect magic obviously detects magic from and says, please, we're we're starving. I will part you with one of my magical rings. I, I don't have any food. And I keep walking. If you give it to me, I can tell you where to find a mountain of food. As long as you don't mind humans. He, he points to the body. He asks how long he, he asks how long is the group asked, he said, how long is, how long has this man been dead? It's been an hour, but it's not on the table. For, he, he's not to be bartered with. Do you see the crowd kind of get restless, but the Dr. Warren, uh, Warren, he says, he says, go back to your living spaces. And the party continues on to the tent. Can I tell the guy with the ring where all the other bodies are? I mean, yeah, you can tell him, but he's, he's pretty adamant about wanting as fresh as undead, you know, you know, that you can find. Well, the information's there for him regardless. Okay. So everybody makes it into their tent. I shake my head and say to the doctor, <laughs> if this goes on for much longer, you're going to have people at risk of turning into ghouls themselves. Cannibalism will not solve any of your problems. He says, I have a few supplies here, but this is what the camp has turned to. We've been out of food now for two days. Mm -hmm. That's why it's so imperative that we find out and end, and end all this. You see uh, Kale's slash Vincent's or whatever form he's in, eyes kind of fill with that mist. Death is unbecoming to those who are starving when sustenance could be provided. And the mist kind of fades from the eyes. Okay. <laughs> I don't I know what you're you're getting at there. <laughs> My brother understands. He understands the use of such things, and I'm going to motion towards Juglin and towards the general direction of the uh, where the showers were. If you wanted a body, then uh, you could have grabbed one for yourself, but he's a Farazban, and even though I don't worship his deity, I'm going to respect it. Besides that, I'm pretty sure if we went back to the uh, the church and Winter heard that we had not given him proper rights, she'd probably <laughs> have a few choice words or rally that crowd against us. Yeah, that's true. I imagine she'd forgive us given the circumstances. We don't exactly we don't have, we're we're on a bit of a time crunch and we don't exactly have a good place to bury him. Well, I meant better funerary rites than leaving him in a mountain of undead corpses. I agree, we shouldn't need him. That makes me feel like it's not going to be safe to leave him here with the doctor. Mm, yeah, doesn't sound like it, does it? Well, we can't, I don't know if you can really carry him around everywhere we go. Oh, no. Um, my thought is that maybe we can retire outside of the town to one of the areas that we know that these people aren't going. Maybe that uh, uh, that study or the library or something and just set them up there for now. Okay. Well, we should... Yeah, maybe we move after we get some medical attention if this man can do anything for us. Yeah. I'm not so sure he can. I mean, if we're uh, going to rest somewhere, we might as well rest in the camp. I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure I trust these people. Uh, there could be a mob 
forming for in search of food. I Maybe trust them more than the ghouls. Now, fair enough, but at least the intents of the ghouls are pretty apparent. Uh, I'll ask the doctor, have you seen anything like our wasting disease with the people here? Um, that's, that's some, I thought that was some extreme, um, not, like, not eating, though, right? I thought wasting disease was, it's when your body just breaks no, no, no. down. Right, yeah, we're, we're asking, I think, if, if this disease is affecting us, not the hunger, but the wasting disease has affected anyone else Has he's encountered it before, or is it just us? Are we patient zero, as it were? Um, you know, he sees that there's been hives and filth, you know, and then they've had areas that's been blocked off in the hallway that they're putting bodies, but for the most time, if somebody starts to itch or break out in boils, the group just usually take stones from the the collapse of the building and they're stoned to death and thrown on the outside of this barricade. Well, there you go. That answers your question. Let's hope they don't notice the skin falling off our bodies and decide that we're next. So, tell us if you think there's anything you can do for us. Otherwise, maybe we need to move on. Get back to our quest. We make healing checks on ourselves now, now that we're in a place of safety. Mm -hmm. I couldn't tell if that was a mm-hmm or a yeah, you mm -hmm. can, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, well, that's not going to get me far, is it? Let me see what, what this heal check's going to do. Nothing. <laughs> you know, with that, Britham, you can you can treat a deadly wound, which takes one hour. Provide first aid. Treat a deadly wound. Whose deadly wounds are you wanting to treat, Britham? The, this is about the disease. No one's talking yeah. about oh, trying to bad. bandage your wound. Oh, my apologies. I thought you said first aid. The disease in general that you have? Um, yeah, we're looking to try and treat that. For yeah, you, for we, your, you, we don't oh, know how to okay. stop it. We don't know what it is. Oh, it's, um, it's, it seems like it's... Y'all are affected by so many diseases right now. I gotta keep them straight. Um... <laughs> So I wonder we're still standing. Well, I thought the skid melting disease was just one thing. Is it multiple things? So or is it affecting us differently? Uh, I got you. I got you. I got you. I understand. It's been, it's been, that was three weeks ago. I'm sorry. Yeah. See, this one is a tumor disease. And now you know from what it, from that role, from books or whatnot, that anyone who dies from the melting of the skin uh, disease will turn into one of the creatures that gave it to you. Do we know how to get rid of it? Yep. Uh, he tells you that you have to make yes. multiple saves back to back. Um, well, the last time you gave us damage, none of us rolled saves, so did you roll for us then? No, I didn't roll for you, um... Yeah, we haven't, I don't think we've gotten saves on the disease at you all. You haven't, you haven't, because you haven't slept yet, since you contacted it. Oh. Well, we slept, and then got damage when we woke up, so I would assume that that didn't count? Okay, so when you first, okay, usually how I do it when you... Got hit by you, I said everybody roll a save, you failed. So when you slept the next day, you got the damage. That's why everybody has a damage. So you haven't, oh, slept, okay. you haven't slept again. But I've I gotten see. damage twice from it. Um, well, you were affected by a couple of things, Cody. You were affected by three things. Oh, fun. At one time, yeah. 
the the one one body that you ate like probably gave you something. <laughs> no, that was a good choice. That was a, definitely a good choice. Hmm? All right. Couldn't have been that. It's it's coincidence. It's you guys. You guys gave me your diseases. I'm sure of it. Well, Vincent tried to help get rid of that poison you had with a like a fungal rot. Which he did. Okay, so what what seems to be everyone's move? Hmm. Uh, I mean, I assume we're gonna try and rest. Okay. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to sleep here in the camp because I can't I'm I'm useless at this point. So everyone gets uh, your HP and level. Before before we fully rest, though, um, Griffin, you you had said that you, you were taking the heal skill. I already have it. Okay. I uh, I believe that there's a, a part of the heal skill where like you can uh, before we rest. Essentially, I don't remember if it's apply first aid or if it's the deadly wounds, but you make a check, and if you pass the check. Uh, pretty much everyone heals double their level uh, when they rest. They don't have any supplies. Uh, that, I th unless it's the, uh, unless it's the treat deadly wounds, I don't think you need you don't need a healer's kit for the other checks. Uh, long term care is the one that speeds up hit points and ability score loss. That's what I'm thinking of. You need a few items and supplies that are easy to come by in settled lands. You cannot give long-term care to yourself. <clears throat> um, so yeah, that, that would depend if Jeremy would let me attempt it without any kind of bandages or supplies or anything like that. Okay. Uh, all right, then it's just a straight D20. Uh, am I rolling for Kale? No, no, I'm, I, I'm, I'm good. Uh, this was because we were talking about this pre-game, uh, what it would take for healing to happen. So I was just throwing that out there for you. All right, this is for restraint. And for Flesh Lord, I'm and I need full health. You don't have to worry about me. You got stat damage. Oh yeah, yeah. Unless you don't want me to heal that. Well, I wasn't sure if we even could with the disease, since it's part I of the don't disease. Think you can. Oh, long term care. Long term care, you can. So, mm -hmm. is, is it only one person that you can do would heal? Or is it more than one? You can tend up to six patients at a time, but I can't attempt it on myself. Cool. Okay. Great. So, 13. And what was that, what was that for again? That was for restraint, so that okay. failed. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm And then I just barely passed with Flesh Lord. Mm hmm So, Flesh Lord, you get... Two hit points per level. So, that is... That... And four hit and but two ability points for it. So and then you heal two ability score points. And then as he's trying that, I I don't have any ranks in heal, but I do have a plus three, but if you said it was a minus two, I can I can attempt to uh, get restraint. Wait, do I heal Min the minus level? two to that? I don't know what it is yet. Yeah, I see. You don't do it, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, Cody, would, you, you heal two ability score points. Would yeah. Kale mind attempting on me? Oh yeah, I, I didn't. I'm sorry, I didn't even think of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because um, I can't do it on myself. 
I'll assist okay, if, I if I can. I got... There we go. Now I got the modifier in there. So whatever this roll is, is what it is, Jeremy. There's no plus or minus to it. I modified it. Dang, good job. Um, he heals two points per level now. So you healed six. Griffin. And then two ability score points. I'm so sorry for the ignorance. What... So my his roll for me failed though, so it's standard healing for me. Yeah, he's just one point four level, yep. so three. Okay. We decided to sleep in the ulti room. Yep. Oh boy. Don't worry. Like my my guy's gonna be awake. Uh. Cause literally, I just. I don't know if you say woke up, manifested, however you want to put it. Like my dude's just gonna be up. He doesn't sleep. <laughs> and, and watching everything. Well, that's nice. Yes, the red mist spirit thing is going to be watching you guys sleep. <laughs> Maybe not so nice when you put it that way, but... <laughs> so, you know, the dreams that you've been having... They've kind of all replay each other, but if you in this we case, light our candle. In, oh, that's true. Let's light our candle. Thank you, Matthew. <laughs> you think I was gonna let us sleep without that? I've been waiting for the chance for us to be like, all right, we're going to sleep now. <laughs> Matthew lights the candle. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna throw this at the group. That's the, the classic. Oh, new words, huh? That was the only thing that you saw in your dream. Um, Dr. Warren actually wakes up because he was in a tent with you guys and he's like, I saw a, a creature with a yellow robe on and it resembled this tattered man that's been plaguing my dreams. But tonight I actually got the first well, well rested. I slept through the entire night for the first time. Well, that's because you're, uh, you're with us. We've got this creepy red mist watcher. I'm, I'm just I'm deliberately choosing not to tell him about the candle. In fact, when he's not looking, I'm gonna put out the candle and try to give it to Griffin or somewhere to hide it. Okay, make a, step, make a step check. No, this is gonna be terrible. Dun dun dun. Where is it? Stealth or sleight of hand? Or both? Or whatever. Probably sleight of hand. Sleight of hand, sure. They're the, they're the same for me, I guess, so. Okay, you beat perception. So as he's trying to ask you about how he slept so well, you, uh, restraint, kind of, he um, puts the candle out and gives the candle to Britham. Cat-like reflexes. I look okay. a little confused, but then I then I shrug. Uh, the dreams don't always hit us the the same way as I suppose. Yeah, tonight I heard some new words. Did anyone else hear him speak? Uh the man in yellow. Yeah, I did. Yes. Something about our past being the sacrifice. I don't know what it means, though. I mean, it. I'm assuming it has something to do with their amnesia, but a sacrifice for what? I don't know. That's what I'm a little worried about. But I suppose 
we better get get headed out. Otherwise, we're gonna it'll be too late for all of us. I think whatever's happening is probably gonna happen soon. So you you like, all mentioned sorry. a book that needs to be found. Correct. That's currently what we were trying to do when we were uh, ravaged yesterday. Then let's move. I like this guy. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to attempt to leave the tent, having not had any cure to our wasting disease. Um, I need Flesh Lord, Restraint, Briffin, and Vincent to roll a 4 2 save. Oh boy. Uh, so, Vincent or Kale? Kale. <laughs> in, in Vincent's body. Okay. I just need to know which which stats to use. Sorry, I only got a 22 on mine. I accidentally added my uh, idol on with that. I only got a 22. Okay. Um, I need Rub it in. Lord to roll another 4 2 save. You take one off of whatever I get. Okay. I also need restraint to roll a 4 2 save. A second one? Yeah, uh huh. No, the first one didn't fail bad enough? Hmm. <laughs> hey, that's okay. better. Um. I'm gonna roll this real quick. This. Give me one second. So that's one. That's one. So Briffum and Restraint take one point a con and one point of charisma damage. Great. Um same for you, uh Vincent. <sighs> And then Cody take Sorry. take uh... Sorry guys, I'm so sorry. Make sure I do everything the correct way. Okay. For days, and I'll just fall unconscious. Uh, yeah, I hate to ask this question, but in the in the sake of fairness, how does my con damage and my modest score affect my max health? It's just uh, subtract. If, like, if if you if you lose uh, to where it it drops modifier. Uh, your modifier, uh, you lose from max and you lose from current, uh, essentially equal to your level. Mm -hmm. Well, or your amount of hit dice if you have hit dice from something else. Yeah. Okay. So if my mod was two and I'm okay. mod zero. Take one dex damage, um, uh, flesh lord, and take two con damage, flesh lord. Wait, did I have a con disease this whole time, too? Mm-hmm. Oh, goodness. Because you've been dealing charisma damage to me up until now. Um, uh, well, that's what they just got done to them. You made your save. Um, or one of them. So to be cured. Oh, okay. Uh, technically, you would technically you would get that damage again because you have to make two consecutive saves a day. So you would actually take one more damage too, Cody. My bad. So you would take one as well. Whatever they took initially, you would take one more each as well. 
Oh, jeez. Okay. But that's that. Yeah, minus one con, minus one charisma. Yeah. So now we're going to... I tell you, you want to go back to where we left off? You want me to just go through? Do you want to do any RP? You know, you know what? As, as the group leaves, you see Warren come out. And you're met by this character. Or this person you've never seen before. Okay. Dressed in yellow, except for the cross, as you see, you see that that strange, that, that strange yellow symbol. Um, you see that he has two orderlies with him. They're, like they're gearing up and getting ready to go to go somewhere. You see them walk towards this way. Uh, I'll ask the doctor, who's that fellow, and where he's is he off to? He says, he says that's Otis. Of Zendalus. He goes out with a couple of the orderlies every day and looks for new converts or survivors of, of what's going on. A, a new convert they... to, to the order. I'm surprised you haven't met with him or met with any other other orderlies up, uh, I mean, up, or a part of the, this group. All the orderlies we found out there have been completely insane and hostile. He says it doesn't surprise me. When you usually go out, you usually get to keep half of what you find. So it's a big way to progress here in the camp. Otis was convicted of having multiple personality disorder, from what I know, and has not had his medication, but how do we, when he goes out, I guess you say for a plunder or pillage. He's covered in blood. It usually satiates his anger and his sadistic um, mindsets and moods that he has. Well, I'm lucky that we're lucky maybe that we haven't found him yet. Let us be on our way. Yeah, let's, uh, let's ignore him if he wants nothing to do with us. I want nothing to do with him. But I do have to ask, has he had much luck bringing back, what did you call it, new recruits? Yeah, he says he's, he's brought back recruits um, before, and, and those, he usually goes out with the bag lady. And if you don't submit to, to Zandalus and the cult of what they believe in, you're usually killed and beaten to death. And the bag lady usually puts bags over your head until you suffocate. Oh, uh, well, we have seen some of those, haven't we? Some of the bags. Oh, yes. I whisper to uh, whoever nearest me. Well, as I kind of brush past the doctor to leave the tent, uh, Zandela sees. <laughs> so, as far as I can remember, uh, we had stairs going up to another level left. I, d I don't remember if there were any other major things on that floor we had left. You're right. The the section we were in, we were trying to do everything on that floor before we went up the stairs. Um, I think you did. You want me to go, you want me to go back to it real quick? I mean, I mean, looking at it isn't going to really help me remember if it's done or not. <laughs> yeah, you, I mean, you found everything. I'll, re I'll remember. Yes. So yeah, unless we're gonna wander around outside, I think going uh, upstairs was might have been the only we thing never, we had. We never went over here. I th think there were some doors, and then the these stairs, because that that blood room was the one down here. I think there was, if I remember right, there was some stuff up here, or over here. I don't know. I'm um, sorry. I'm going to step AFK for a moment just to grab something to eat. Oh, yeah, definitely. While we're figuring that out. So I've been transported to a room alone, is what it appears. Is that correct? And now you're dead. No, I'm joking. I'm putting you to the bottom. <laughs> okay. okay. So you walk oh, there we go. So you're walking back here. Um, you know, there's two orderlies 
with you as well. Um, they're kind of hanging back for, the, for you to tell them if it's clear or not. Um, the doctor kind of gave you orders with one of the other commands that you met to, to check out the clean water supply. But of course you're going to make sure everything's cleaned up because apparently, you know, there were ghouls here. You know, remember there were ghouls here that you were fighting. Around. Right. Okay. Um... Okay. And I will have the apostles. Their whole job was to come and kind of check out the place. And, and that's why they're traveling with us. Yeah, they kind of look. And these are ones that are more battled heavy. You know, they've got the spikes, they got a little bit of protection, not much. And they're here to just help clean up the, the um, pool area, the shower area, to, you know, to kind of see what's clear, what, you know, what hasn't been cleaned up, or things like that. Fine by me, as long as I don't have to touch it again. Uh, I totally forgot. Um, we should probably divvy out that stuff that we found in the pool. Yes, that's a good idea. Um, I'll say that the stone, uh, the person that attunes themselves to it, it speeds up their alacrity in combat. It's uh, the best description I have for it in game. Uh, the, <laughs> the belt helps you tumble, and the the shield's a shield. I don't I don't know if uh, Flesh Lord or Kale or Restraint can use or want to use it. I thought about using a shield for a while, but I realized later on I get a shield bonus anyway, so flavor-wise it doesn't actually serve a purpose to me. And I cannot use it as far as I know because my weapon is two-handed. Oh, actually, that's a lie because it's a small axe. Well, I've been wielding it as a two-handed weapon yep. when I'm not raging, I think. Um, the, the Ion Stone, what does that do in game terms? Plus one an ish. Ah. <laughs> uh, I mean, let me look into this axe real quick. It is still a two handed, even as a small weapon. So, no, no shield for me. Okay. Um, if, I mean, so I, I would go for it. I think it goes to you, Griffin. Okay. I, I mean, like, I've already gotten some stuff. Stuff, so I didn't want to be greedy. If anybody else wanted it or wanted to use it, you know, I was fine. Yeah. Yeah. Who needs the ion stone the most? The initiative. Um, my, I mean, I just have, I have no bonuses to my initiative. Uh, it might be helpful if I have it. So, you know, strike first, ask questions later. It helps get up the, you know, being at the front line. I mean, I'll, I'm. I mean, I'm happy with you having it. I have. A, I have advanced. Or I have improved initiative, anyways. I was about to say that was my only reasoning for you not. You seem to be be able to fight pretty quickly, anyway. So, um, yeah. If, if, uh, if it'll help, you know, quicken my reflexes, I'll say in game, then that would be useful to keep on my person. And then I'd suggest somebody on the front line take the belt. I also don't mind. I'll trap the belt. Okay. Okay, so Matthew, so Matthew as a shrink, takes a stone and gets attuned. The stone actually floats from your hand. It starts to um, make its way up to your, your head. And now it's starting to go in circles around your head and orbiting your head as it's as it's floating around hmm is this is this normal i say as i look at it a little concerned ask Brief, yes tell you that's what i was asking i was asking Brief. <laughs> yeah yeah that's normal an ion stone uh usually achieves an orbit around the wearer and uh you can only support so many at a time uh but yes, that is that is normal. You shouldn't have to do anything else with it. Okay, good. It's maybe a little distracting, but I'll try to get used to it. 
And, uh, yeah, I think I'm ready to move. Now that I have Griffin beside me, though, I'm going to say, hey, just because I didn't mention it, I wasn't sure I trust uh, anyone enough to show that handle. That's why I gave it to you for safekeeping. I understand. And with that, I think we're off, yeah? Mm-hmm. Give me that. All right. It's through this door, I'm assuming that's where we're headed. That is, in fact, a door, isn't it? Uh-huh. Okay. And you realize that you are outside. Oh, as, oh. as Miss starts to roll in. I close the door. <laughs> oh, we already knew that door went outside. Maybe we did. I forgot. I got hit pretty hard in the last battle. Uh, the only place in here we haven't explored yet is the stairs over here. Okay, well, let's go there then. All right. Do they look structurally sound? All right, let's go, Flesh Lord. I'm going to climb the stairs. Me, you, and Chuggles, let's do this. Until I get the loading screen. You're mad. It looks like these stairs have collapsed. So they go down again. Excellent. Well, the idea is... Now, the stairs have collapsed, but, like, can we see it? Like, does that mean... So the, has the ceiling above the stairs collapsed, or did the stairs themselves collapse? The, the ceiling above the stairs, my apologies. Um, can we see out into the sky or up into the next floor from there? Um, it's, it's, it's blocked. Mm. Uh, if you guys remember when we found the ghoul in this northern room, uh, it, you could get to the second floor with a bit of a, a jump. Oh, yeah. Because Cody had mentioned he could fly up there, but the rest of us would just have to either be helped up or flown up as well. Sure. I mean, I could get up there and then help everybody else up. Yeah, let's give that a shot. I think the up is the way to go, though. Can you lift me? I'm not so um, high. When I'm in this form, I certainly can. I have 17 strength in this form. Careful with the loose skin, you know. I don't want you to rub it loose. So as you make your way to this side, you start to hear... Chuggles, is that you? Yeah, the Chuggles that we're hearing? Chuggles, let's start barking. Does he have, like, ghost it's, senses? It's like I said, it's because he wants to go outside. <laughs> he heard the word outside and he started spazzing. He needs well, to uh, also, like, my dog in real life is barking and won't stop. Like, I don't know if you guys can hear it. Yeah, yeah, we can. <laughs> oh, is, is that what that is? I thought it was the Sirenscape. <laughs> Do you have a Chuggles? Do you have a Pug? So who got lifted first? I kind of volunteered uh, myself, I think. Who's lifting you? Me. And I can help myself. If it's something I lo looks like I can climb, I can take the time while he flies some lighter people up. I got you. Um... Yeah, how high is it? Here 
work, but I like this right here. Head picked out first. I mean, I guess I went up there first. So restraint lifted you. No, no, no. He's the flying one, right? Yeah, yeah. I would fly up there and help other people up. No, I'm still on the same map. Put your character on the map. Ooh. There we go. Okay, I'll pretend I didn't see what I saw before. It's cool. <laughs> okay, that's what you see, Cody. Okay. Well, I'll work on helping other people up before I start exploring. And I don't have to go first, but... If something jumps out at us, I figured I'd be up there. That's helpful. So if you can lift me, or if I can climb in some way. How high did you say it was there? Oh, hello. Yeah, bring, make your character to the, to the thing. You should be able to see, everyone should be able to see right there. I can see the new map. I cannot yet see the my character. It's not on the map. you got to drag it. From where? The jur character journal area. Tab. Oh, yeah. You highlight your name and then just drag it over. It should just pull right on. No kidding. Well, that's awesome. And just when I thought I learned Excellent. everything about. Curious. What happens if I? Okay. <laughs> and the enigma. Still need a. Upload. I wonder if I can hit this button. What nope. if you use Vincent's one right now because you're still in Vincent's body? Well, if I have to roll initiative, it'll it it won't pick up properly. Oh yeah. Huh. Your point. I'll do both, and I'll just try to keep Vincent's on top to see if I can pull that off. That's fine. Nope. Okay. We'll just do that then, because it just looks better. Once everybody's up here, I guess I'll make my way up the stairs. I should follow. Um... These stairs look okay, they look safe. Uh, they do look a little damaged. But you think that the worst of the blunt, the worst of the force, is what actually collapsed them in the long run. Okay, I guess now we know someone that can fly, so... Okay, so let me get my email. Um, fantastic. Alright, guess we're ready to go. Okay. So as you venture out, I see your you see this. I 
that's all you see for right now when you walk up the stairs. Okay. All right, Flesh Lord, let's let's go out and take a look. I guess. I'll walk out here. Kind of cautiously. Obviously not sneaking. You see a broken window. It looks out across a sea of turning saffron fog inside. You see dusty crates of every size kind of going about the room. Is there mist coming into the room from the broken window? You start to see a little bit. But what you see now is multiple colors of mist. This isn't good. But, uh, I'm going to relay that back to the group, say, you might want to be ready for some weird trip we took the last time we saw Colorful Mist. See another dreamer spewing it down? Not yet. And I'm going to take a step forward toward the mist to see if I can see further into the room. Can I push the mist away using my big wings? Mm hmm. This book, did, where did they say it was located? It kind of gave us a general area search on the northwest. Yeah. Was it specified it was on this floor? No, but we haven't been into this floor yet and we haven't seen the book below. As the Flesh Lord walk, starts to walk up, you're met by a noise. Um, you hear... A one shot noise. You hear a... As... As you turn around, you're met with a blow to the back. As you see a cultist hit you, saying... This is only limited for those who serve Zen Lords and or one of his the higher ups in the cult. You were told not to come in here. Everybody who comes in here will be met with death and attacks you. I was gonna say, aren't we all wearing the clothes for Zandalar though? You are. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> That's true. He's oh wait, no. I'm, if I'm in, if I'm in Vincent's body, then yes. Yeah, yeah he is. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're, you're right. You're right. The creature. I mean, this this um, cultist attacks you. The coding. Okay. The character do. Smack him. Um, you know, first off, I do serve Zandalar, fool. Be gone with you. I search for his book. Okay, with a 22. Uh, the, the occultist looks at you, kind of scared. And backs down. He says, "What is your, what's your reason for being up here?" Again, he backs five feet away. We were told to protect the chosen. We seek a book for the master. We were told it is in the northwest of the building. He asked, "What can you can you describe the book?" I don't. I don't actually know if a book, if a description of the book was given to me. Nope. I don't think so. Like, do we have a name of the book or anything? I don't actually remember. Samuel R. C's. A memoir. I mean, that was that's 
like Jeremy, were we given any information on the book? Yeah, he told you the book was called The Chain of Knights. Uh, okay, so I'll, I'll tell him that. Whoops, I didn't make good notes apparently. Or did I? He said he's never heard that. He just knows he was a, he was sent here to protect the the chosen from the from the uh, flesh eaters from below. Well, we've disposed of the flesh eaters. At that time, you hear a whirling. Like, sounds like uh, like a tornado coming through. Mm. From where? From this area. Here. Immediately go into crane style. Cody, you can see some... It seems like the mist here. It's kind of like in a semicircle. From down yonder. Uh-huh. Is it What's possible that the Chosen has the book? That what? I ask the cultist, is it possible that the Chosen has the book? He says he doesn't remember. He says that he just saw the Chosen in a cloud of multicolor vapor oozing from his eyes and nose. He doesn't know what type of book he has. Well, then we need to speak with your chosen. He points, here, here. He, points, he points inside the cloud. What does the group want to do? Make my way in. Oh, boy. Yeah. I'm the flesh lord. I know no fear. I'm going to kind of snarl at this guy as I come back, as I come by. I'm going to show my axe, like, don't get in our way again. <laughs> We're such a nice party. <laughs> hey, I'm, very, I'm very friendly. That's clobbering people in the back of the head. Yeah, so there's a party, everyone steps into the cloud or no, only the flesh floor. I mean, so we're all over one. there. We should do it together. Let's all hold hands. <laughs> Chosen one, answer us if you can. No sound. Do we see a body or just the mist? Yeah, we're going to have to go in to get to him, I bet. All right, here we go. <clears throat> okay, now i got to find where we're at. Everything's black. <laughs> here we go. Yeah, switching maps is so aggravating. Do we need to drag our characters in, then? Uh-huh. Okay. Now that I know that, that's awesome. You see a huge structure. It looks like an old destroyed cathedral. You see in front of you. Are we standing in a grave? Yeah. Yeah. Is this Wait. the uh, entrance? This is the entrance. Before I. You oh, see, oh and sorry. See, and you see one right here. You see here. Kind of like, you know, where it had been destroyed. Here. Uh -huh. Do not wander too far off. I don't think we should separate. Before I join them, can I look at the, the markers here in this tomb, in this graveyard? And just see if I can read anything about them. Just I'm kind of doing a quick glance, I think. But here's a yeah. perception check. I knew you were going to ask. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't take anything, but on that okay. one, it's odd because you see the 
your name on that grave. Guys. Something's not right. I don't what know if this is first a, clue. I don't know if this is a dream, but this is my grave. I look at the next one and see if I see someone else's name. You see, um, not on that one. You see something that says. Did your character ever have a no, see. And you see, no, you, you see a, um, <laughs> a grave that says, hold on, um, the grave <coughs> says, Ambrose Crin. Okay. Yeah. Once he says something, I'll come back and take a quick glance. Man. That name sounds familiar. Oh, that's so funny. I can't even tell them why. Um, <laughs> I feel like I know that name, and yet uh, it's kind of foggy. How about the next one? I'm going to probably you know rule a three, but I'm going to end after that third. It reads this. Oh, this is so weird. I feel like I know these names. I don't know what this means. Why I'm the only party member current that's on one of these markers, but I don't know if we have time to check all of these. We have no time to waste on the deceased. We, we must make progress. Well, technically, I'm one of them. <laughs> Well, if you well, if you want to be deceased, I mean that's that's fine. But the rest of us need to move on in that case. I want to laugh in death's face, so let's go. Maybe this is uh, some place near like your hometown, and these names are people you recognize from your your home or something. Maybe, yeah, could be it. If your family doesn't know what happened to you after we started journeying together, it's possible that, that they may have made a grave for you. Something still feels unnatural. I'm not totally convinced this isn't all just some fabrication designed to mess with us. There's nothing to fear, my Lord of the Crimson Wave are with you. We stepped through mist and ended up in a graveyard from some building that we were in. And now this chapel stands before us. Nothing about this is right. Well, I mean, what if this isn't a real place at all? <clears throat> it's possible. Uh, Jeremy? Uh -huh. You said that this is a, a temple or a church. Uh, what is the religious iconography? <laughs> Are there any symbols? Like, what is this dedicated to? I'll say for asthma. You don't see any symbols on the outside. the church. Maybe our first clue. Alright. Are we I, going in? I guess so. I, I guess we'll all go over to where Flesh Lord is first. I think we should be together for this, yeah. <clears throat> you really wanted to bring that dog with us? The dog comes everywhere. It's a servant of the Flesh Lord. Okay, well, does he have any spells? <laughs> yeah, look at him. Did he pass his fortitude save for all the infectious <laughs> shit we got going on? Yeah, right? Of course he did. Are they immune? As you walk in, you see broken pillars. What's odd about this room is that even though things are a mess, it seems like it's an organized mess. Like, even though things are broken, it seems like each dot of, of rubble on the floor is ordered. I think, I think we just entered my... <laughs> um... So, like, the rubble has been, like, organized into piles or something? That's what's 
for the same CE, yeah. Oh, that's odd. Clearly we're dealing with a maniac. Are there any doors or anything in here? Uh -huh. Or passages? It's hard to tell. What's the point? <laughs> it's all rubbly. If we're gonna go somewhere. <laughs> you see... Oh gosh, yeah, you went straight for the big stairs, didn't you? It's funny, we came in the side entrance, was this to, to sorry, did Jeremy say that that area was... Oh, hello. Was, yeah, uh... it's weird that the side entrance doesn't lead, uh, or the side entrance has the big stairs to the road, with the road to it. Yeah. Are you serious, Roll20? Is this what we see? in the mess. Hold up, roll 20 is... I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. Roll 20 is not letting me upload anything else because I've only uploaded a certain amount. Oh, I see. You've exceeded the free limit. Yeah, they better let me put this back on there. <laughs> I don't understand. I, de I deleted it. TPK by Roll20 Free version. I don't wish that on anybody. I'm sorry, guys. It just it made me. It's being strange. You had to delete an old map to make room for a new one, basically. Yeah. And I'm gonna have to reload, right? Let me see if it lets me do it. Huh, so I'm about to reload. Spencer, I'm really glad with how your character turned out, because this has made me actually have to think up a whole, like, pantheon for my religion. <laughs> I... Well, we'll, we'll see how well that turns out. We're missing the, uh... We have to find the king of the ivory tower. <laughs> And then we can, and then we can perform the ritual, which will cause us to form Prometheus, god of creation. I suppose at some point, Griffin and I should ask, like, what the heck is going on with these two, and why they, Fleshlord thinks he knows this other guy. Well, he's the king of, he's lord of the Crimson Wave, the 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 master of blood, and I'm the Fleshlord. <laughs> it's only, it's only right. After he says that, I know nothing about a crimson wave. Well, you'll remember in time. To be fair, he does say a lot of things, and I'm not entirely sure what all to make of it all. Once we find the master of bones, then we can all fuse together to perform the to perform to perform the ritual. It's 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 just basic science. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh -huh. I'm deleting stuff, but it's not letting me put new stuff on the map. Let's right, all right. let's all hop out, and then we'll go back in. Yeah, we can do that. That way, Jer and Jeremy needs to probably be the first one in. Okay, I'm Fair enough, guys. Sorry about that. How dare you? Just kidding. That's right. We're having a role play moment. I think the restraint has made a point of not asking too many questions with the people he picks up. Besides, Spencer, you should be glad I made you one of the three great elemental lords. Our, our body? Well, our elemental? You might, you might be mistaken on that as things progress. Nah, nah, I'm sure. Oh, God, <laughs> Your 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 love of blood assures me. It's 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 clear it's it's clear as day. You're the master of blood. We just have to find the master of bones. We can perform homogenesis and form Prometheus, the god of creation. And then you can be a real boy. But who are you talking about? Are you talking we can about be Winston? The realest are you talking boy, about anything. Kale? Are you talking about Red Destiny? Are you talking about Bell? 
You are you are but one being. Uh, I'm not sure he knows that. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm not so sure he knows that. Yeah, try. regardless of regardless of your myriad forms, you are but one being. Just as the flesh lord encompasses all flesh, anything with blood is something you encompass. I'm not so well, sure. Currently, not. I'm inside of uh, a dead character's body. slightly possessing Vincent's body. Uh, so, I don't know if there's any blood in that because oh, you guys slept has... eight hours, so there's been eight hours of technical decay on that body. Yeah, but you're in it, so it still counts. You're the lost blood. It was also ice cold uh, a mere minute after after dying, so something else is definitely at play here. And I don't think blood's involved. <laughs> Watch, just you he, guys. Going to be the biggest. Than cool. Ice cold. <laughs> ice, ice cold. It's going to be we the biggest die. twist ever that I end up being right at the end of the campaign, and then we get to form Prometheus, the god of creation, and I, the GM's never going to mention it. I mean, there's some big assumptions that any of us are going to make get to the end of this campaign with how, <laughs> how, how it's been yes. going. That's we true. have two of I the was, great elemental lords. We can't fail. It's impossible. I was planning a prestige class for Vincent, and like two days before his death, I found it. I was like, wow, this looks like it's great. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. I'm really confused now on what to do with Roll20. I want to quote Predator right now, though, or more specifically. Are, are we all out of it? And I am. And it's just you in there, Jeremy? I'm in there. Yeah. I'm out. If it believes we can kill it, I, I say to... I don't understand why, why it's doing this. I'm about to Have you tried leaping and going...